So we're now backstage with Chloe after she's presented the award. How was it? It was awesome. I saw Aiden backstage and I totally mentioned him yeah. when I presented the award. So you got to meet him backstage and have a little chat oh, with him? Yeah, my, my heart was like legit racing. Really? I was like, oh my god, it's Aiden. <laughs> and he was like playing with his hair. <laughs> I was like, yeah. So you're a fan of the X Factor then? Oh yeah, definitely, yeah. definitely. I, I love Aiden. Yeah. Superb. So presenting the award then, must have been great fun getting out on the stage in front of that audience. It was. You see, I hope no one saw my leg shaking because <laughs> I'm all calm on the surface, you know, but the one place that it shows is my legs. Literally Good my job there's a podium there shaking. so you can see. You think you got away with it. Uh, so, uh, oh, we hear yeah. Emily Strange, you've signed up to do that. Mm -hmm. Exciting. Very exciting, yeah. It's, it's a phenomenal book series and it's a phenomenal comic book series. So, um, it's a... Uh, so you're a fan of your comics? I am, definitely. I don't get to read that many, but the ones that I do, I do love. So Emily Strange then, her character's a lot different from yourself. Uh, you're going to be going through a bit of a, a look change for the film? Um, yeah, I mean, maybe, yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I mean, I definitely, I cut my hair for the Martin Scorsese picture, because you know I had hair down to here, and now it's like, yeah. it's all like cut and big and... <laughs> <laughs> Superb. Uh, so, have you seen a script yet for Emily Strange? Or um, no, we don't. We uh, we're shopping around right now. We're seeing um, who's best and stuff. So, okay. soon. Wicked. Well, good luck on that. Well done for presenting the award tonight, and thank you for talking to us. Thank you, guys. Cheers. Thank you. Chloe, good evening. I'm good, how are you? I'm very well. Looking forward to tonight? Oh yeah, very much so. It's exciting, you know, my first um, presentation of an award. <laughs> exciting moment? Definitely exciting moment. Okay, so you've been involved with some great films and I believe at the moment you're currently working with, working with Martin Scorsese? I am. Yeah, and it's uh, Hugo Cabrera possibly, is that right? The invention of Hugo Cabrera. That's the one. Uh, what's it like working with Martin Scorsese? That must be great fun. It's phenomenal. He's a phenomenal director and I mean it, it's truly an honor to work with such a legend. And what do you play in that film? Um, well, I play Isabel, who is a, a 1930s schoolgirl, and it's it's based in Paris in the 1930s in a train station. And I go on this crazy adventure with my co-star Asa Butterfield, who is actually um, his film was up for um, best feature film. So that's that's quite exciting. Okay, there's another film you've been involved in, which has been absolutely amazing. You play a cracking character called Hit Girl. Um, that must have been great fun. It was. It was a lot of fun. I mean, it's it's a special character, and it definitely um definitely took my career to a different level. Uh, now the second season of comic books have come out for that. Now, do you read those? Um, I have read a couple, but um, I've been so backlog in school that <laughs> you know haven't had too much time. Uh, so a second film. Are you involved? Seen the script yet? Um, you know, I don't. I I know there's a second comic. Um. I don't know about a second film yet. Uh, Matthew, I was on the set of X-Men not too long ago and I was talking to him and he said, it's half and half, so... Okay. Would know. you like to play Hit Girl again? Oh yeah, I mean, who wouldn't? It's, it's a phenomenal character and it'd be cool to get back into uh, the Hit Girl costume and portray her as an older person. And what would you like Hit Girl to do next? If they said, you know, what do you want to do in the next film, what would you want Hit Girl to do? I want Hit Girl to have a purple Ducati. With Gatling guns. Yeah, sounds good. Now you've been involved in another film as well with vampires. Uh huh. Yeah, it's called Let Me In. Yeah. How was that? It was phenomenal. It's, it was a really fun film to make because you know I got to get on the vampire you know <laughs> vibe and everything. It was um, it was it was really cool. You can obviously you're working on the Scorsese film. Any other kind of projects in the pipeline at the moment for you? Yeah, um, I have a Scorsese film. I have Let Me In that just came out. I'm also doing a film called Hick with Kirsten Dunn soon. Um, I have a bunch of other films, um, and one of them is actually um, Emily the Strange, which is exciting to do, which is based off, um, a, well, it's a novel and, um, and a comic book. Sounds absolutely fantastic. You're doing so well. Uh, so tonight as well, it's about children's TV and gaming. Uh, did you have a favorite children's TV program growing up? 
Teletubbies, come yeah. on. Teletubbies was pretty iconic. Yeah. Do you have a favourite Teletubby out of the four? Tinky Winky, Dipsy, La La, Poe. Dipsy. Dipsy was good. And of course you had Nuno as well, who was the really cool yes. little Hoover man. I loved him. He, Wait, he always ate the toast, right? He did, yeah. And you could buy Tubby Toast as well, which was well cool. You could? You could buy Tubby Toast. I want Tubby Toast. I know, it sounds good, doesn't God, it? God, I want Tubby Toast. <laughs> Maybe we're going to get some after after tonight. Go find some. Uh, well, best of luck tonight. Have a great evening. Thank you. And uh, thank you very much for speaking to us. Thank you so much. Cheers.